Good morning, everyone. It's not really morning. It's like one something. Anyway, I am lounging in my pajamas. This is my lazy face. I always say that, but um, yeah. So I'm just hanging out for a little bit. I just edited two videos, one for my beauty channel, one for my vlog channel. Um, yeah, and I'm enjoying some iced tea. I did my teeth whitening earlier. The thrilling life of Melissa. Um, anyway, so I'm about to touch up the highlights on my hair first, and then I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna go visit my aunt and uncle um, over at their house on the lake, and yeah, it should be a really good day. And I went shopping with my aunt the other day, and I actually ended up with her papaya and her chocolate chips and like a gigantic thing of butter. So I need to remember to bring this with me when I go see her in a little bit. So, um, yeah, my house is kind of messy right now, but nothing that can't be fixed with a little bit of washing of dishes and, you know, actually cleaning. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, let's hang out for today. It's Sunday and I have to go back to work tomorrow. Boo. And it's Father's Day, so all the fathers out there, I hope you're having a wonderful Father's Day. And yeah, since I'm here in South Carolina with my uncle, it's gonna be Uncle Tracy Day. It's Uncle's Day. Um, so I'm gonna go get him a little something earlier, or not earlier, but before I go to their house, I'm gonna go get him a little something um, to thank him for being an awesome uncle, cause he is. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna hang out. I'm gonna do my highlights. I'll show you my foil head in a little bit. This is my beautiful foil situation for highlighting my hair. Isn't this just like the go-to look now? <laughs> um, yeah, I look ridiculous, but it means I get to do my highlights and keep my blonde looking fresh. It's so funny because I posted a picture on Instagram the other day of me when I had brunette hair, like shorter brunette hair, like probably about as long as my layers are now actually. Um, and I asked everyone, I was like, should I go back brunette? And it was kind of like 50-50. Some people said yes, some people say no. So um, yeah, for now, I think I'm gonna keep it going highlighted blonde, but uh, yeah, thank goodness I can do this myself because if you go get your hair highlighted regularly, it's at least probably 75 bucks to go get a partial highlight and a full is definitely more than that. So yeah, I will show you guys what it looks like after I blow a dry and put on like a human being face. All right, so I put on my human being face and did my hair and here are my highlights freshened up again little stretches and then there's the newspaper I let him rip up but you didn't clean up after yourself did you no toys are right there Cocker Spaniels there mess is right there could you could you learn to clean up after yourself you don't have to hide in shame it's okay I can teach you I can teach you okay just stare at me that works too okay okay I'm gonna take you on a walk right now okay I'm gonna take you on a walk. Yes, so lazy outfit of the day. I'm wearing my like Target sandals and then like my dark jeans. I'm just sporting like a um, stripey shirt dealy. I have a heart necklace that my mom gave me. I'm wearing these really cute like earrings from Forever 21. And I'm rocking my Project Pan eyeshadow. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna take the puppy out on a walk and I think um I think my um <clears throat> ipsy bag might actually be in my mailbox so if so I'm gonna do like a car run bagging <laughs> all right I'm gonna take him on a walk Alrighty, so I just stopped at Walmart and I bought some flowers um for uncle's day I chose some fun guy colors I have these ones that are not really bad these are really pretty uh, yeah, so I thought these would be fun to give him. Um, you know, he doesn't really need stuff. So I thought I would get him some flowers because for my aunt, I got her flowers for Mother's Day. And then I bought some Cheeto Pops. <laughs> oh my god, these sound amazing right now. And then I'll give the rest to my Aunt Donna because, um, this is like, this is our joke, like, this is our vacation food. Um, so, since I'm not here on vacation, I'm just kind of here. I'll have her eat some of these too, so. Because that's a lot of freaking Cheeto Puffs. Um, I don't need that many. And yeah, this is four servings. No way. So I'm going to eat some and then share some. Yeah, so I'm on my way to their house now.
Hi guys, so I am driving back from my Sunday dinner at my aunt and uncle's house, which we do practically every week unless they're away on a trip or something. So yeah, it's about like a 45, 50 minute drive home for me and I just started. So I thought we could kind of touch base on just kind of catching up how I've been. Um, yeah, I've just kind of been checking in here and there on a vlog, but I wanted to just kind of say what up. So if I look like a horror, mo <laughs> if I look like I'm in a horror movie, I just have my like overhead light on, so sorry. Um, so yeah, I mean, the reason that I moved where I'm at was a lot of things, which I've covered in my Q&A before. Um, so I just kind of wanted to touch base on like where I'm at now. Am I still in the same place? What am I thinking? All that jazz. So I have my days, honestly, where I think like, okay, this is amazing. Um, this is exactly where I'm supposed to be. This is what's supposed to be happening. And then I have these other days where I'm just thinking like, this is a vacation and then I'm gonna go home. So I'm not really sure if this is a forever, still in my heart of hearts, I don't know if this is a forever or if I'm going home. Um, I would say maybe this past week, I've kind of felt more like, oh, I kind of want to go home, but um, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. We'll see. Um, I do know that in this whole process, I've had such amazing support from both friends like that I've made here in person in South Carolina in the city that I live in, at the job that I work in. Um, just absolutely, really kind, amazing, loving people. Yeah, so, I mean, things, I just thought there was a police officer back there, so I, like, took the camera down and stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm just really kind of torn. I don't really know, I don't know what I'm doing. I just know that I'm, I'm chugging along as best as I can. And, yeah, like I said, there's just been this real, um, I don't know met some really amazing people and I am very grateful for that so there's been so much good that has come out of this whole situation and if you're a person who's kind of going through the same thing like you've ended a really long relationship and you just you don't know what to do with yourself just pick something and do it which sounds like uh, but just pick something and do it and I don't regret moving at all um, it's just like I said I just don't know if it's a forever thing or if I'm gonna go back home, or if I'm here. A lot of factors are just kind of up in the air right now. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I do know that I have gotten so many wonderful, sweet messages from people who said, you're doing a great job, and like, it sounds like weird, but I've gotten so many messages from people who were saying like, you inspired me that I can do this. Like, I'm going through a rough time in my life and I see that you're okay, so I can do it too. Which is like incredibly sweet and totally unexpected. And that's not at all why um, I decided to post the video of what was happening in my life on my beauty channel. I just wanted to be honest with you guys because I included you in that section of my life and I felt like I wanted to have closure for that there too. So, if you post things on the internet, you're going to be someone who opens yourself up to potential criticisms and questions and just people investing themselves in you and like wanting to be involved in your life. And that's just part of it. Like, especially with, I mean, with YouTube, like people see you and they, they're your friends. Like they become like your online community and your online friends. So they are invested in your life. And, um, I don't know. I felt like that was it was almost kind of therapeutic for me too to kind of like have that release and like someone to talk to about it because a lot of times I don't say things to people even in my I mean especially in my immediate life because I just I don't want to upset people like if I'm feeling bad I don't want them to feel bad too and I feel like a lot of times people don't know how to deal with other people being upset so I don't know I I just didn't expect the response that I got online and I'm so incredibly beyond grateful because all the people who said something really, really sweet, um, really, you guys are amazing and I can't even thank you enough. And like I said, I've made some really, really amazing friends through this whole process, which again, I didn't even intend to happen. Um, it's just so funny how things happen sometimes when you least expect that people are going to reach out to you, they do. So, I'm incredibly grateful. Everyone who 
is now a really good friend of mine and everyone who left me a really sweet message and um, sent me a tweet to check up on me like everyone I really appreciate it um, yeah so I just kind of wanted to touch base on that again I, I don't know if I'm gonna be here forever I don't know if I'm gonna go home I don't really know what I'm doing right now I'm just kind of taking it day by day still but I'm doing so much better there um, are very few sad tears at this point and mostly just tears from happy surprises of really kind people which happy tears are a good thing so yeah um, I need to stop and buy biscuit food he needs cottage cheese for his dog food so I'm gonna stop at Walmart on the way home even though I was at Walmart earlier but I couldn't get a cottage cheese earlier so I'm gonna stop and get cottage cheese for my doggy so I can go home and feed him and play with him and then yeah we'll see what he's up to when I get home so I'm about to drive home and I see this like that orange spot like right there on the camera that's the moon it's like orange slash red what is that I have never seen the moon this color before, ever. Holy cow, that is crazy. And it's showing up true on camera as what it is in real life. Like, it's a gigantic orange moon and it kind of looks like a jack-o'-lantern right now. Do you see that? Two eyes, a nose, and a really crooked little smile. What is happening? Alrighty guys, I'm about to change into pajamas because I am sleepy and fur face here has stolen my spot in bed. You look so sleepy, Biscuit. <laughs> Are you so sleepy? You're so sleepy. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. You're so cute. Um, anyhow. Yeah, so I'm going to change into pajamas and then I have work tomorrow, so... Yeah, back to the grind for this week. Anywho, I hope you guys are having a beautiful week as always. I'll touch base with you sometime within the next week whenever I get a free day so we can say what up again. I'm trying to vlog like once a week. I think I can handle once a week. So yeah, anywho, hope you guys have a beautiful day as always and I will see you next time. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to hit subscribe so I can see you again you know, in a week, or if you want to go check out my beauty channel, it is The Blushed Beauty here on YouTube. I will have that link down. Are you gasping for attention right now? Jeez Louise. So demanding. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go to sleep, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!